but back is of all being asking. So we're in fight camp now, six weeks away from fighting Tony Ferguson, biggest fight of my life. So we're back. We'll have uh, the vlogs up and running. We'll have one one a week at least for you. So we'll try and get these subscribers up to a milli. We're nearly there. Let's do it, people. Just made one of these poor beads on me to start doing one of these every morning. Bang that in. Let's get the creatine in it. So. Hopefully my body doesn't feel as fucked. <laughs> Most of them don't have any flavour like this black currant flavour, so I don't ever eat breakfast lad, it's just a bit of fire ready and all. A little fuel, a little carbohydrate thing, you know what I mean? But with that, and that, it's little 300 calories, loads of it, loads of energy. You taking these out the gym? Go on in. You hungry then? Do some breakfast? Don't go for the wait. Come on. Daddy. Ah, oh, you're not seven weeks out now so perfect position weight's low I'm in good shape um, he's been training knew about this fight for a while so he's had a lot of time to prepare for it Paddy's looking really good Evans way on track his weight's in a good spot which I know everyone thinks it won't be but it's in a really good spot he's flying absolutely flying Session in the bag there, eight ounces on at guards, six five minute rounds in. Very cliche, I know. Everyone says it on every set of vlogs, every countdown show, everyone says it. Oh, best I've ever felt, but I promise you, like, this is the best I've ever felt. I'm not gonna lie to you, I felt good going into the Jared Gordon fight. That was possibly one of the best I've ever felt, but when you throw a kick in the first two minutes and snap your foot, I couldn't even stand up, you know what I mean? I was stood there banging with someone for 10 minutes and then got pushed against the cage for five minutes. So obviously I'm keen to come back and show you all the improvements I made, not just in this fight camp, but the last fight camp, because I couldn't show you that was my ankle. This fight's a lose-lose for me, you know what I mean? Tony Ferguson, I don't care what anyone says. It's a lose-lose, he's on six fight losing streak. If I win, but when I win, everyone's just gonna be like, oh, it's Tony Ferguson, he's finished, he's this, he's that. If, if I lose, they don't think it's gonna happen, but if I lose, everyone's like, oh, he's been beat by, finished Tony Ferguson. Uh, so it's a lose-lose for me, but as I've told you all in the past, I will never turn down a fight. Any fight what's ever been offered to me by the US, See, I've signed on the dotted line and that's what happened here. The name Tony Ferguson got through at me, I signed on the dotted line and now I'm fighting a legend, future Hall of Famer. So that's the way I'm looking at it, I'm fighting a legend of the sport who I grew up watching and it's going to be an absolute pleasure to share the cage with such a legend. Got him good there, you know, proper nil. Six round of sparring in the bag, get a massage now, get all the little niggles we've got out before we go to boxing in a couple of hours. It starts off the beginning of the camp and it's sports massages and then as he's dropping weight and he's lowering his calories and training harder, the body struggles to sustain that so he picks up more injuries. So we end up doing more injury treatment as he gets towards the end. It's not so bad at the minute to be honest, but we're still like six weeks out, it's gonna get worse. But you just gotta get on with it. I message Shy or Paul Reed immediately when I wake up and something, so you just say what's going on here the frame. Sometimes it's six o'clock in the morning. It can be if it fucking it wakes me up, yeah. Big deep breath. No. It's a shit one today though, isn't it? Good one though. Feel better right away though. Tormund, that fucking Game of Thrones, that so <laughs> You like the big lady? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even watch it, I was just here in the next day. Oh, that fucking fight was a joke, do you know what I mean? So I had to go and watch it. Mm -hmm. 
to be honest, he's been looking quite tired, but he's, because he's working so hard, he's been putting a lot of work in. He's been training like two, three times a day, so I know as soon as the workload starts to drop, he'll start sharpening up a little bit more like he usually does towards the end of camp before he has to do his weight cut again. It's a good fight for him. I reckon it's one he can win as well. Like, I know everyone's going on about it. He's had a lot of defeats, but the defeats that have come, come against the top opposition, haven't they? So um, he won't be taking them lightly, and I reckon Paddy will get the stoppage. Music, see, we've got rapper, go, go. It's like mixing vodka and milk. I'm going out first and taking my enemies with me. I love it. Like music, <laughs> good training, good people. Nice to get bands a bit. Another top quality UFC fight, you know what I mean? It's nice to, while he's over in Liverpool, he's came down the gym and got a little session in with us. It's great, lad. And he's cool. Everyone likes Gilbert Baines. Don't know anyone who doesn't like Gilbert Baines, lad. Don't know what I mean? He'd be welcome in any gym in the world because he's a cool motherfucker. Subscribe, you're a sausage.